It is Animal Kingdom Day. We are gonna go take a look at the Africa section in this park. We're gonna go through all the rides, all the streetmosphere, all the live entertainment, and show you what Africa has to offer. You ready? Let's go. I love walking over the bridge, over to Africa, and what is the first thing we see? A flotilla. Flotillas begin to happen around midday throughout the day, and they're just a great little ambiance to, um, to add to this park. If you're looking for a quick breakfast in the morning, the Tamu Tamu is a great walk up window that you can go, and then also during the day, you can get things like Dole Whip and seasonal offerings as well. On the side of the Tamu Tamu, there's also seating in here. Most of it is just like undercover, but it's just nice and light, and there are some fans in here. What is a trip to Animal Kingdom if you don't see some? Animals. Let's go see the gorillas. Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail is going to be a self-guided exploration, so let's go explore. afraid to kind of really explore and put your hands on some stuff. Also talk to the cast members that are outside each of the animal exhibits. They know their stuff. If you happen to get a Wilderness Explorers booklet whenever you come into the park or at any other stations. Also take a look at the ground and you might see a few animal tracks all around. I love the hidden details. Really want to have some fun? Grab one of these and really look for the birds all around the cage inside. You just never know what you're going to find. Look how sweet! I do believe that one is a yellow, a red and yellow barbette. Nope, I lied. It might be a Tevetta golden weaver. These birds are flying all around you, by the way, which is really incredible. They've even got like bird houses throughout this walkway for all of the birds. Oh, there's a Disney duck. <laughs> Make sure that you're looking up as well. So if you like details, you can just see all of the details and all over and enjoy the things as well. Oh, this does move up and down. <laughs> Another thing that is really incredible is Disney really works with conservationists to help, especially with animals and making sure that their environments are clean and safe and helping researchers as well. The Africa section has some of the best gift shops. It has some really cool merchandise. And these right here, these are some of the best fans. Oh, and they'll last. They won't break on you, which is what I love about these things. You will find quite a bit of Lion King uh, merchandise in this location. Not only that, you'll also find purchases that will go towards National Geographic and funding nonprofit organizations too. Also located in this gift shop is the Suri's Sweet Shop. If you're looking for something sweet or something cold, this is going to be your spot. What's also great about this place is you can mobile order. I do truly love finding authentic jewelry and or decor. It is seriously amazing in this country. Other stuff that you probably aren't expecting in Africa is going to be face painting as well. So sometimes those tiny little things uh, that you're not expecting in the parks can really eat into a budget. So in each park, there are going to be stations for like caricature paintings and also face painting as well. Next up on our adventure is Rafiki's Planet Watch. Now, you do need to board a train to go to this experience. It is another walkthrough experience, kind of like a petting zoo. Um, you can go inside, get some AC, and you're 
to park your strollers to be able to get on the train. Now this train ride is going to take about five minutes both ways, so there and back. The walk from the train to Rafiki's Planet Watch in the back is going to be a couple of minutes. Um, now since you don't have your strollers, I just want you to be prepared that you are going to have the little ones need to walk or you're going to need to hold them, especially if you're coming in the hot summer months. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It is a little warm out here this afternoon, so we're going to go inside and do the animation experience at the conservation station. You are able to go in your My Tip Board and your My Disney Experience and see when the show times are for the day that you visit. did good and I cannot draw anything. So that took about 30 minutes for that experience. It was great to get in there. It was great to sit down and cool off for a little bit. Not only did you learn how to draw a character, but you also got important facts and important lessons about actually rabbits themselves. So each artist um, for that day uh, within the animation experience at the conservation station has a specific animal that they draw or specific love and um, they give you information about that specific animal that you're drawing for that day. So I really enjoyed that and not to mention a free souvenir to take home with you dated for a core memory. Now let's go get up close and personal with some real animals. Let's go. Oh well hello. <laughs> oh 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 my goodness. Now you can get like brushes to actually brush them as well. Now there's no feed here. Uh, all you can do is just get in here, watch them feed and uh, be able to touch them and get close to them as they walk back and forth. There's three different like play areas, if you will, for the goats. They do have sheep back here. Ooh. Look at this one. an incredible time going through the gorilla trails coming back to the conservation station and actually getting up close and personal with animals it's now time to go see the safari next leg of our adventure in the africa section is going to be the kilimanjaro safaris there is no height requirement for this ride and strollers are only be able to be kept in line up to a certain point and then a cast member will take it from you and then you will get it whenever you exit the ride strategizing the Kilimanjaro safaris the best times to ride is actually first thing in the morning or really late in the afternoon more animals are out and active whenever it is cooler in the day if you are using this on genie plus then you want to try and get those return times during that morning and afternoon time we have been on quite an adventure today so far seeing all the animals in Africa but now it's time for a snack and a drink one of my favorite places to come sit and have a drink is the Dawa Bar, and it is right out of the Tusker House uh, dining location. The Tusker House dining location in Africa is the character dining experience here, where you can see Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Daisy in their safari outfits for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I do have that video up on my channel, and you can go check that one out. But now, it's time for a drink. So this is called the Safari Amber. Oh, that's good, especially on a hot day. <laughs> if you're familiar with the beer Shinerbach, this is equivalent to a Shinerbach. One of the most unique and popular snacks here in Africa is going to be at the Harambe Food Market, and it is the corn on the cob. This is basically soaked in butter with curry salt. Oh my word, that was the best thing I think I've ever had. Oh my god, you, you have to get this. You have to get this. Quick service location in the African section is going to be the Harambe Market. I do have a full review of this in Animal Kingdom quick service locations. 
today is a perfect example of me giving you this next tip. So today I did two things where we got like papers or um, memories or sentimental things that may mean something later. So I got the little card from Tusker House and then I also got, you know, that free souvenir from doing the animation experience at the cons conservation station. I do bring a file folder with me on my trips and I love to collect all the stickers, all the pamphlets, all the little itty bitty things like this and having a file folder in my bag to make sure that everything stays safe, compact, doesn't get wrinkled, it doesn't get wet and that kind of thing. So if you are a collector of sentimental things like that, bring a file folder with you just to put all of those things in and keep them safe. Africa is truly my favorite, favorite part of Animal Kingdom because of the street atmosphere. <laughs> hands-on stuff. Don't be afraid to come over here, tap on the drums, get a few picture shots. One of the experiences to do great in the middle of the day or when that heat really starts to rise is Festival of the Lion King. You're going to be able to go inside, sit down in a theater for about 22 minutes and watch a very moving, basically Broadway production of Festival of the Lion King. It is amazing. If you do have strollers, you are going to need to park that in the parking lot stroller. And as you're looking at the theater itself, the parking lot stroller is going to be to your right. If you're deciding to come see the Festival of the Lion King, it is very important that your entire party is ready and in line because there is no seat saving once you get into the theater. So make sure everybody is together and then go ahead and get yourself in line and head in. with uh, Pumbaa, with Simba, and then also with the elephant. So don't be afraid to just take your time for just a second and get those pictures. We have had the best adventure today exploring every inch and the highlights of the Africa section in Animal Kingdom. If you like this content, please give this video a like and consider subscribing as more will be coming at you very soon. I'm Terry with Creating the Magic and have a magical day.